Were you downtown drinking or yeah. which which bars did you go to? Downtown. Downtown was it packed? Hello. No. I would say it's packed, but I say downtown's usually not packed. It's usually No, nah, not tonight it definitely wasn't. Jeez, I thought they were <gasps> oh. oh my god. Oh no. I got it, I got it, Moomy. Break, break, break. We just had a vehicle strike. Moomy's vehicle, I'm behind it. Clough and Manville. You're going to have to come this way. They just smoked my cruiser. I got them stopped at Clough and Manville. It's a main RQ7543 X-Ray John. 7543 X-Ray John. Hello, I'm Officer Wright Bullinger, please. Yes. I have my insurance. Okay. Registration. Do you have your license with you? Yeah. Okay. Do you know why I'm stopping you? Yeah, I kind of clipped you and your partner. Clipped? I would say you smoked that car. Is anyone injured in the car? No. No, everyone's okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you put the car in park for me? Yeah. Olivia, are you a BGSU student? Um, I'm a faculty member. You're a what? I'm a faculty member, not... A, a faculty BGSU. member yeah. at BGSU? Yeah. What do you do? I'm an athletic trainer. Athletic trainer? Yeah. Okay. Who's all in the vehicle with you the night? Um, I've got a friend. Student. Student? Yeah. Some and students? Then, yeah. Okay. How much do you have to drink tonight? Mm, not too much. I was driving home. Not too much? How much is not too much? Um, Maybe like two drinks. Two drinks. Were they mixed drinks? No, it was vodka water and then another vodka water with so wine. Just vodka water tonight. Okay, how big were those? Two, maybe twelve ounce drinks. Okay. All right. Why don't you um? Why don't you shut the car off for me, okay? All right. Go ahead and hop out for me, okay? Yeah. I don't know what's smoking up here. We're gonna walk back to this first car, okay? Nope, nope, it's right here, right here, just right in front. Yep. Right here. Oh, okay. Yep, just hang out right there for me, okay? Yep. I mean, I don't know where my camera is. Hey, Cody. Do you wanna move your car out of the way somewhere and turn your lights off for me? Yeah. Thank all you. Right. We're gonna need, also, when you get a chance, we're just gonna need everyone's license and stuff for the crash. What was your name again? Olivia. Olivia? Yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously my concern is you hit a car. Yeah. You didn't stop. That's another thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you had some alcohol to drink tonight. Yep. Uh, probably my concern is maybe you're driving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you say it's a fair estimate that maybe you had too much to drink tonight? Okay. Okay. Um, I'd like to run some tests, check your eyes and everything, if that'd yeah. be okay with you. Yeah. But before we do that, I'm going to try and get this cruiser out of the way and their lights okay. turned off, okay? Thank you for your service. Can we, can we get this somewhere with the lights off so I can do tests? Yeah. I'll just turn the lights off here. I'll just stop traffic. Okay. Olivia, do you wear glasses or contacts? Um, I wear contacts. Do you have those in right now? Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. Are they hard or soft contacts? They're soft. They're soft? Yep. Okay. Do you take any prescription medications? No. Have you had any recent head injuries? No. What I want you to do is place your feet together for me. Okay. Arms down your sides just like me. Remain in that position, okay? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes, okay? Okay. See the tip of my pen right here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it right here. What I want you to do is follow the tip of my pen with your okay. eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Got it. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Nope. Don't move your head. Keep your head nice and still for me, okay? Keep your head still, okay? Don't move that head. Still see that okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, it's going to go up now, okay? One more time, okay? You can blink if you need to. Okay, go and relax for me, all right? All right, Olivia, you can go stand up here on the sidewalk for me so we're not in the road. So for this one, see this nice, straight, yellow chalk line I drew for you? Yeah. Well, left foot on left side, right foot on left side. I'll, I'll explain to you. Yep, just follow along for me. Just, I'll give you the instructions and demonstration okay. for you. Just got to follow along and then uh, go from there, okay? So, yes, I'm going to have you place your left foot on that line for me. Okay. Place your left foot on that line for me. Yep. Okay. Place your right foot in front of your left foot. Heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot. Can you come out here? Is it situated? Yeah. It's good. Okay. Um, do you mind just having a light for her and then also maybe just stand kind of by her with yep. a light that way? Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to explain it again to you. So, left foot on that line for me. Place your right foot in front of your left foot, heel of your left foot, your heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot, just like that. Okay. Okay, place your arms down your sides. Keep this position until I tell you to begin. Do not start the test until I tell you to do so. Do you understand those instructions so far? Yes. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line, turn, and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. When you turn, keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps with your other foot. I'll demonstrate for you. You're here like this. Okay. One, two, three. You go to nine. I only took three for demonstration. Keeping that front foot on the line, series of small steps. One, two, three. You go to nine steps. I only took three for demonstration purposes. While you are walking, make sure you watch your feet at all times. Okay. You count your steps out loud, and you keep your arms down at your sides at all times. Once you begin the test, do not stop until you've completed the test. Do you understand okay. the instructions? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay. All right. You can begin. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You okay? Yeah. Okay.
Oh. Right, okay. Yeah. I don't want her to fall and hurt herself. All right, Olivia. Do you think you're going to be able to stand on one one leg? Do you think that's going to be which? It's it's right? either one of your choosing. Do you think you're going to be able? Not right now, but do you think you'd be able to do that? Okay, yeah, face the road for me. I'll come down here so I can demonstrate for you. All oh, right, so hold what, on, wait till he tells you. What I want you to do is place your feet together, okay. arms down at your sides, feet all the way together so they're touching. There you go, arms down at your sides. Stay in that position until I tell you to begin. Do not start the test until I tell you to do so. Do you understand those instructions? Yep. So when I tell you to begin, you're going to raise one leg of your choosing approximately six inches off the ground with your foot parallel to the ground. I'll demonstrate for you. You're here like this, about six inches off the ground. Your foot's parallel to the ground. You're going to keep both legs straight, your arms down at your sides, and you're going to watch that raised foot, and you're going to count out loud while holding this position. You're going to count in the following manner, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. Make sure you keep your arms down at your sides at all times. You watch that raised foot, and you count out loud. Okay. You understand the instructions? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Do you know which foot you're going to raise? Left foot. Your left My foot. Right foot stays on the ground. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can begin. One, two, three. Watch your foot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Watch your foot. Keep going. 19, 20, 21. You can stop. No. Nope. For the next thing, I want you to turn around and place your hands on your back, okay? Right now, you're being under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence, okay? Oh. Go ahead and put your hands together like you're praying for me. Go ahead. Nope, like you're praying. So your palms are together. Like that? Nope. Like you like you're folding your hands in your hand like you're praying. Like this. Okay. But behind. There we go. There you go. Olivia, those aren't too tight for you at all? Nope. Okay. No. I see this left one. You have some small wrists, so it's yeah. a little bit challenging. Yeah. Real quick, can you open your mouth and say, ah? Stick uh, your tongue up to your roof, to the roof of your mouth. Thank you. Forty-three headquarters. I have that female in custody for point nineteen. Okay. All right, we're gonna walk back to the this car right here. Real quick, just stop right here on the right here for me. I gotta search you. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? Nope. Nothing like that. Okay. Nope. Go ahead. Do you have any pockets? Nope. I mean, I might have a necklace in my pocket, but that's which not where, poke where's me. that at? This side. Over on this side. You have a pocket on this side? Yeah, in the leggings, the necklace. Oh, I see it down here? Yeah. Okay. But that, that's it. It's not going to poke you, but... Okay, I just got to verify that it's a necklace, and it is. Yeah, go okay. ahead. I, it's in my car. I was going to say, yep. if that, it's in the... Yep, I have that. You okay? Did you hit your head at all? No. Okay. Did you hit your head at all during the crash? No. You didn't? Okay.
All right, Olivia, I have your purse right here, okay? Go and hop out. Just stay right here while I close the doors. All right, we're going to go over here into this door right there. All right, I'm going to take these handcuffs off. You've been polite and respectful this whole time, okay? And then once I take these off, there's a chair right behind you, not the rolly chair, the one right behind you. I want you to have a seat, okay? Go ahead and have a seat for me. Olivia, you said you don't take any prescription medications? Mm -hmm. No. Unless it's the spironolactone, but... The what? The spironolactone, but that's like 50 milligrams, and I take that when I need to for my um, skin. Okay. Gotcha. Other than that. Now there's an Ohio one because she has a citation through Ohio. Yeah, I saw that. I'm going to put your keys with your purse, okay? Yeah. All right, Olivia, so I'm going to read uh, this form to you. I'm going to start at the top here and just read through this first paragraph, okay? So it's starting at the top. This is consequences of test and refusal. You are now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug, or a combination of them. If you refuse to take any chemical test required by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended immediately and you will have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you take any chemical test required by law and are found to be at or over the prohibited amount of alcohol, controlled substance, or metabolite of a controlled substance in your whole blood, blood, serum, or plasma, breath, or urine SF by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended immediately and you will have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you take a chemical test, you may have an independent chemical test taken at your own expense. Okay, so uh, looking at your paperwork here, you have no priors, so I am going to offer you the breath test tonight. Um, so based on that, so for a refusal, if you refuse the breath test, it's based on prior refusals, guilty pleas, and convictions within the last 10 years. If you refuse the breath test, it's a one-year license suspension on your license, okay? If you take the test and for prohibited concentration of alcohol, again, it's based on those prior convictions and guilty pleas within the last 10 years, you have none. So if you take the test and are found to be at or over the legal limit, it's only a 90-day license suspension. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. With all that in mind, I am offering you a breath test. Okay. That's fine. You are going to take the breath test then? Sure. What's that? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just got to boot up the machine, and um, we'll just have to wait about seven minutes. And then I'll boot it up. Um, it takes two samples. What that means is you blow into the machine twice. It'll take the lower of the two samples. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead and take a super deep breath for me. Real deep breath. Real deep breath. And blow out as hard as you can. Okay. Yeah, it feel, like I said, it feels like you're losing up all that air. Yeah. Right, I'll go through some more checks. There's a two minute buffer period between the, the two samples, so. Once it's done with the checks, you got to sit here and wait two minutes, and then... Okay. Alright, just as you did before, real deep breath. Blow out.
Okay. Once it says it's printing it right now, so once it's done printing, it'll have the results on it. Okay. Unless it's out of further. Nope. All right, Olivia, so right here, if you look, your final result is a 0.212, so over two times the legal limit, almost three times the legal limit, okay? If you look here, subject sample one, the first time you blew in the machine, it was a 212, and actually the second time it was a 212, so both samples were the same. Okay. Uh, same. Um, so right now, your license is suspended through the state of Ohio, so you cannot be driving. If you do need um, privileges for, let's say, work or something like that, you can request that at court. And the judge will be the one to make the determination on if he'll grant privileges for driving. Okay? We're going to go up front. I'll have you have a seat in the lobby for me. i got some paperwork to do, okay? All right. See this door right at the end of the hall? We're going to go down there and we're going to take a left. One of these two chairs have a seat for me, and just I gotta tell everyone while they're sitting in the lobby, you're still not free to leave, so don't go anywhere, okay? okay. All right, Olivia, I'm gonna go over this paperwork with you, okay? okay. You get that, remember that form you signed that I said you'd get a copy of? This is your copy from that, that carbon copy paper. You also get a copy of the results from the breath test. And then here's the important one. This is going to be your citation, okay? Mm -hmm. Up top is going to be your court date, December 4th at 2023 at 1 p.m. Bowling Green Muni Court over on South Dunbridge. It's a mandatory court appearance. Okay. Down here is your name, address, license information. You did show me the insurance for the car. Mm -hmm. Time of the violation, vehicle you're driving, Clough Street, eastbound near South Enterprise Street was uh, where the crash occurred. Mm -hmm. Down here you're being cited for failing to move over for an emergency vehicle. Okay. Gas did Put in a speed there for some reason. I guess the program wants a speed when, when that's involved. But what that section is, is just failing to move over for an emergency vehicle. There are two sections for your OVI. One's the generic, and the other one is for your results, which was a 212. And then down here for the hit skip, because uh, you failed to stop after a crash. Okay. okay. And road conditions, weather conditions are down here. The crash report number is also down here as well. Okay, because there will be a crash report on file for this. My name, my badge number, and then court's phone number is on this side. Questions on any of this? Okay. I am going to have you stand up. I have to put you back in handcuffs, okay? Okay. And then palms together just like you're praying. Not too tight? Yep. Okay. All right, we're going to go downstairs. Um, we'll take the elevator and we'll head back down to the garage, okay? And then hang up right there for me. Oh, 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 be careful. You okay? Yeah. You're not hurt, are you? You're fine? Okay. Go ahead and lean back for me. I'm going to put this on you. So here's what's happening. I'm going to take you out to the, the Justice Center, okay? Do you have any questions for me before we head out there? All right. I appreciate you being polite and cooperative. Yeah. Thank you.